What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Roll 88 coming at you live and in the flesh. And, uh, well, today I wanted to talk about um, the end of the world, right? Um, so, I've been going through a lot of stuff in my personal life, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. But, when I look back on Afghanistan and Iraq, and I realize that we were there for the lithium and the poppy. Um, not that poppy, by the way. <laughs> um, we were uh, there for the lithium and the opium. Now we have an opioid epidemic. And the lithium and stuff is for the batteries that are going to help out with the transhumanist agenda and turning people into robots and satanic slaves. Um, so yeah, don't take the chip. If you have to, get your head cut off for Jesus, whatever they're going to do. They want to crucify us, cut off our heads, whatever they want to do. It doesn't matter. Any fate is better than being stuck here on earth, being that host in hell. Okay? I don't know how this stuff's going to pan out. Nobody really does. Okay? Um, we kind of have an idea of how it's going to go. You know, there's theories about this part of life and that part of life, you know. They're going to make like automated self-driving cars, then they're going to take away your rights, martial law, take away your guns, then, you know, like, I love how a lot of people are like, oh, well, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get my shotgun, and I'm just going to, you know, blah, 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 you do all this stuff, and they can't, you know, take away my rights. Well, this is just the flesh, and they can do whatever they want to it, basically. Um... But yeah, definitely, I mean, self-defense is good and everything. But you know what's even better is having Jesus Christ on your side. So in the coming days, you're going to need Jesus Christ. Now, I wanted to make this video to encourage people because I've been going through some stuff, right? My family's, like, disowning me. Um, you know, I'm figuring out how to do street preaching on my own. Um, uh, what else is going on? I've got this girl who won't talk to me. Uh, you know, just everything. And... Uh, so just because it, it feels like my life is whatever, ending or something, which is not true. There's people that have it a lot worse than me. They're actually trying to close an old folks home here in town, which needs to stay open because they're old and they've earned their retirement, you know, up to and including their death. You know what I'm saying? When they die and go to be with Jesus. Hopefully they believe in Jesus. I mean, there's only two options, heaven or hell. Choose if you're going to choose, if you're going to serve Jesus or Satan, now is a good time to make that decision. Um, so anyways, that's another topic we really need to talk about. Because Jesus and Satan are the only two masters, right? Um, you know? So, go with Jesus. Repent. And do all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, I think the end is coming. But I was just reading some Bible verse and it was talking about 430 years, blah, blah. So, there's always... A time limit. We don't know the exact time frame, right? Um, but I will tell you this: the Earth is not no 23 million, 60 trillion years old. No, it's only about five or six thousand years old. You say, "Oh, well, how's that?" You know, we had all this da da da, -da music and stuff, Beethoven, blah, blah blah. Yeah, that's on record, right? That was only like whatever, 1800 years ago or something. You know, we started to civilize, and we've become extremely civilized. Now we're even trying to civilize, you know, like the moon and Mars, and trying to, like, break through the firmament and do all this crazy, blasphemous stuff that I'm sure God just absolutely hates. But, uh, anyways, I just thought I would make this video, let you know my feelings on a lot of issues, and so, yeah. I mean, I think it, we could be coming to the end of the world. Jesus said that nobody knows the uh, day or the hour, so we're just going to keep waiting and waiting. Now, I'm laughing at the demons in hell because I have Jesus, right? I'm waiting for my angels in heaven who are actually all around us here on earth. In case you're ever feeling down or low or depressed or anything like that or anything, there's angels all around you, okay? You can put down that bottle of beer. You can put down that cigarette. You don't have to smoke. You don't have to be doing all this crap. There's angels, you know, all around you. They're helping you in your day-to-day -day life, right? They pay your bills. They, they're they with you when you're walking your dog, you know? 
this is the thing. We act like we are so high and mighty and we do everything on our own. No. If we do anything, it's by the grace of God. If we have anything, it's by the grace of God. God gives and he takes away. You have to remember that all the days of your life. Nothing is permanent. Everything is temporary. The only thing that's permanent is your soul. So make the right decision and choose Jesus because this life is that dead serious. People think life is a game. People think life is a joke and it makes me absolutely sick and disgusted. Life is not a joke. This is not that fun, people. What's so fun about waking up every day? Oh, I have a splitting headache. Oh, what a joyous life this is. You know, that's why we need Jesus. So, I just thought I would make this video. Been on my heart for a long time. Well, actually, just this evening, but that's a long time in, uh, in this house. So, anyways, love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, repent, and find Jesus if you haven't already. And, yeah, self-baptism's okay, but think about the thief on the cross, the good thief that repented. All he had to do was repent and went to heaven. Baptism is not a requirement. Bye. Love you.